hello, hello, hello. All right, this is Peyton again here. And before I go into what's happened, I'm gonna try and get my, my, my a person <laughs> that I want to be on this live with me, Cindy Roberts. I'm going to invite you to this live. So you should get some kind of pop-up on your screen um, that shows the invite. Let's see. I see you. <gasps> Did you know that you can't do this from your computer? You know, <laughs> I was just about to say to you, are you on your laptop by any chance? I was on my computer. Oh. Who knew? Hi, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, you know, live and learn, right? Correct. Yes. Oh. Well, it's good to see you. Um, this is going to be like a two-parter today. I, um, I just uh, spent a few minutes doing an intro about uh, why I'm here. She recovers retreats coming uh -huh. up in Texas. And um, that I was going to be inviting the wonderful uh, Cindy Roberts on with us, who is going to be at our second uh, Texas retreat, which still has some availability in it. So um, I wanted to bring Cindy on to talk about, um, well, to introduce herself, if you don't already know her, um, maybe to talk a little bit about her recovery story and the work that she does, and then what uh, she's going to be bringing to our She Recovers Redefining Recovery Treat um, in March. So Cindy, um, hey, why don't you take it away? <laughs> well, I'm so excited. Yeah. Like that, that was like the biggest um, amount of like, woo, like getting worked up for it. I so, know, right? Okay. Uh, so yes, so excited about the retreat uh, last week of March. So just just two months away. And I know that behind the scenes, we've been doing a lot of work to prepare for it. And we just found out that we might be able to do two sessions, little workshops, which is exciting because my topic that I love to talk about, um, I am sober sex expert, and that means that I like to talk about intimacy and relationships, and specifically for this retreat, how it relates to our own recovery journey. Mm. And um, it's, you know, I've been in this, I've been in the field of sexual health for over 25 years now, and um, I am seven years sober um, from alcohol use disorder. That was my, that was my recovery, um, my recovery journey, and I am also a She Recovers coach. So I found that when I kind of started in the recovery work that I really had some questions about relationships, yeah. our partner, sex, like, there are things that come up here. I am supposed to be this, like, I mean, I have a master's degree and I'm like, I could talk about this to anybody, but now that I'm in recovery, things look a little different, right? <laughs> things seem a little different. And so that's what I love to be able to have conversations now with people in recovery about relationships and intimacy, because, you know, even seven years ago, it wasn't something that was talked about very much. There wasn't really a forum to do it. Um, and she recovers has been great about kind of opening that up and you know the panel we had in Chicago was amazing yes um, just those patients I think just kind of one-on-one -on -one in small groups it really kind of opens it up it kind of releases a little bit of whatever if there's any shame there if there's any you know just apprehension about talking about some of the things that can be a little difficult and some of the things that can be joyful yeah. too so yeah. yeah absolutely well I always think that you know when we get into recovery you know, and again, depending on what you're recovering from, but with substances, it's that thing of, you know, you may, you know, suddenly you're on a recovery journey and you're not, you know, there's no filters, there's nothing to make everything a little easier, right? And I think that in all relationships, not just romantic relationships, when we are feeling all of our feelings, <laughs> and, you know, yeah, it's kind of like you you do almost have to kind of um, do a little bit of relearning in terms of of intimate relationships, right? 
absolutely like that guard is down right and the thing that you know obviously when she recovers we can be in recovery from many That's different right. things and for me with alcohol it was really just hiding kind of hiding behind that and you know it was necessary in order for this to happen or x to happen right and so and i found that a lot of the conversations that i've had with people really you know they didn't know like what was going on physiologically with their body what was going on mentally like why did why did things feel differently who can i talk to about this you know it's a it's a hard enough conversation sometimes to have just in general um and and to get advice that is that is good advice right not just you know from your third best friend who like you know, kind of remembers something from you know way back when and they're trying to guide you in this this is a conversation that can be a little tricky mm -hmm. and so that's going to be important to, to have some time to be able to do that. And like you said, Peyton, it's not just a relationship with other people. It's, you know, it's intimacy, it's intimacy with ourselves, right? For some of us who kind of love ourselves again, not even like ourselves, but maybe love ourselves as well. And so kind of figuring out how to do that. So that's, we're going to spend some time just kind of talking about how do you fall back in love with yourself? Yeah. And yeah. How do you open yourself up for intimate relationships? And whether that is with yourself or with um, a yeah. partner, it can be with, you know, intimate relationships to me are someone that you're close to, right? And so it's sharing your, your innermost thoughts and feelings mm -hmm. with someone who is that in your life. Like it could, it could be a good friend. It can be um, a family member. And so how do you kind of open yourself up for that? Yeah. And I, I'm sure that, you know, again, no matter what you're recovering from, you know, like, sh like shame, you know, shame. And like you said, forgiving ourselves for whatever, you know, however we've acted in relationships in past, whatever we've done. Um, but I imagine that's a big thing too, right? Is, is releasing shame, you know, as Dawn has said, you know, the shit that we did back then is just the shit that we did. It's not who we are. So being able to meet yourself um, without, you know, guilt and shame and just step into your empowerment, right? Right, absolutely. And I think just in this small group setting, and I say small, like 20-ish, 20-ish, 30-ish, um, you know, and, and it is, it's completely voluntary, right? You know, you don't have to come to these sessions. That's the great thing about these retreats is, you know, you want to, I think someone had said earlier, like, you want to take a nap? You go take a nap. You want to go sit in the hammock? You go sit in the hammock. If you want to, you know, participate in a conversation about intimate relationships and, you know, just kind of listen to what other people are saying, get, maybe get some guidance. Um, we really can learn from each other. And yeah. so it's important to be able to do that. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, Dawn just said, um, I think that the most intimate relationships that she's witnessed have been, you know, the relationships that are formed uh, by women in recovery. And certainly, you know, we see that all over on our online spaces and, and we definitely see it on retreat, you know, so just even, you know, um, yeah, cultivating relationships in recovery, um, you know, with other people. I think these are important topics. Um, for and yes i also agree like i'm glad you said that uh in terms of our retreats everything you know that we offer uh on retreat is is optional <laughs> you know we always uh if somebody's you know it's often somebody will come in the morning and say oh i'm sorry i slept and i didn't make it to yoga and i'm like good <laughs> great you slept in that's awesome you know so all the activities are optional um you get to pick and choose uh, what you would like because it is your sacred pause it's your time you know for reset for rejuvenation for recovery whatever you know whatever you need it to be um that's what it's there for so you know i love the fact that we do have these things that can help you to um you know to just land at the retreat and to really you know dive in as as deep as you want um you know and i think group work is always really wonderful you know to be able to do this reflection you know and have these conversations in group like you said you know we learn from everybody so yeah that's what be exciting and i think i think too like when you say like we can pick and choose what we want to do like you know i saw there are horses going to be there okay i will not be i will not be horseback riding like horses aren't my thing i will not do that everybody else can go do that i'll be in the 
reading a book. Like that's what we, you know, we can choose to do. And um, that's why I think it's going to be so exciting just to be able to just kind of be on our own time because we're, we're pulled in so many directions and there's so much going on in our everyday lives and to be there and to be able to just kind of release that and, and be present and do what we want to do do um, without someone telling us exactly what it is or feel a sense of responsibility, whether it's to, to kiss it to kids or to, um, you know, to family members. So yeah, for sure. I think that's what's going to be awesome yeah. about it. So yeah, absolutely. Um, the other thing that I always love about retreating is just where we are, you know, um, we've been very lucky to be able to go to some beautiful beautiful places and you know nature you know being in nature being connected to nature um, has always been you know a part of our retreats no matter whether you know we were near the ocean or we were in the desert or wherever it may be and um, Texas I, it'll be the first time that I've been there but um, the retreat ranch is just a beautiful um, property it's it's a, a working farm and um, you know they're very connected to their land. It's a, a couple that owns it. Um, so I'm, I'm really interested um, to be there and to see you know sort of the natural outdoors and be to be doing you know sort of outdoorsy things. So that'll be fun too. And Pete and I, I would encourage anyone who like when we first discussed this, and I was like a ranch in Texas. Like I grew up in Texas, but not on a ranch. Like I was I was a city girl in in Houston. So. Um, I was like, oh, no, 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 like, I don't know about this. And so uh, I, what I did is I went to, you know, through the She Recovers website, when I mean, you find out more about the retreat, you can actually look at the ranch and they yeah. had an amazing video on there about this is our property. This is what this bungalow looks like. This is what this one looks like. And I was like, that relieved so much anxiety for me personally, because I kind of need to see, I'm one of those people that I like to see it and scope it out first. And then I was like, Oh yes, I can do this. Like it, it felt. It, I was immediately at ease with it. Yeah. So I encourage anyone thinking about joining us, hop on the website, look at the video of the place. Um, you know, you might see a chicken running around or something, but uh, yeah, it's not. It's not. <laughs> we're not tense. Like, yeah, yeah, we're yeah. not. We're not gonna get you. You're not cleaning out barns every day or <laughs> no. anything like that for sure. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's it is a very cute venue. The accommodations are super cute. Um, yeah. And and yeah, um, it's a beautiful property. Um, one of the things that they do have there, which we're all going to be able to partake in is they have like a, a meditation walk that's set up a little bit like um, they kind of call it scavenger hunt style where you have a map and you walk through the property and there are markers and you can sit and journal and reflect and things like that too. So, so yeah, it's not your typical ranch. <laughs> yeah. No worries about that. <laughs> a glam ranch as, yeah. as Don. That's right. And it does have, um, they're in the middle of updating um, a few of their accommodations, but yes, it does have a couple of yurts. One of the um, one of the the or a couple of the private ones are in these cute little trailers, and there's one that's in a wagon. <laughs> there's a like a good old fashioned bunkhouse, which again looks so lovely and cute. And I know that all the women that are bunking in there together are going to have a big pajama party. Lovely. Yeah, so. It'll be great. Um, Cindy, is there anything else that, yeah, you want to share with us while I have you Thank on the, on the so, Instagram? Today? I know. It's so, so, I'm just so excited to be able to be connected with other people in recovery and be able to have those conversations. I think it will be amazing. I know for me that something that I have been working on in the last couple of years is just creating a sense of community and connection. Connection is something that I haven't done very well. Um, I haven't, I, my friendship group changed when I got sober. Um, and so just, I sometimes feel like I need to be connected more. And so I'm, that's what I'm looking forward to this is just to being around some other souls who are in alignment. And I think also, you know, you can be in recovery from many different things. Um, there's not, this isn't just, this isn't an alcohol recovery retreat right this is weird because someone had a message to me and asked me well i'm in recovery from grief and she, uh, she had recently gone through a, a pretty significant loss and i was like 
absolutely. Like this is for you as well. So I think it's important to remind people that we're all, we're all, as Don says, we're all in recovery from something. That's and right. Sometimes those days, it, de it depends. Like, you know, when we go to meetings, I'll say, you know, I'm in recovery from alcohol use disorder, divorce, grief, um, codependency, like those are the things like they may not feel super strong on that day, but for me like that, you know, those are the things that I'm still working mm -hmm. on. And so that's why I invite anybody who is in recovery to, to join us. It's Texas. It's March. It's March. It must be warmer in March in Texas than it is in Colorado. Um, yes. probably and some probably a little bit more bugs, but, uh, yeah, it's going to, it'll be, it'll be exciting yeah. for sure. For sure. Yeah, it's going to be warm, I think, you know, this wacky weather that we're having. <laughs> you never know. But uh, I would I would suspect that in March, we're going to have great weather. Um, and yes, I wanted to also thank you for bringing up the, um, you know, this is, you know, not just this is a sober retreat in the sense that, you know, we don't have alcohol on site. It's not part of our programming. But that doesn't mean that, you know, if that isn't your journey that you, you couldn't attend, you know, like, I, like you said, we have, we have people in recovery from all the things. And um, in my experience, you know, again, they talk about, you know, peeling the, the layers of the onion, right? Um, you might come in for one thing and, and realize there might be other things that you want to work on in your healing journey. So that is all welcome here um, in our community. And of course, on our retreat. So, all right. And Cindy, just, you know, maybe we'll just close with if somebody wants to learn more about you and your work and what you're doing these days, what's, what's the best way for them to connect it's with you? Instagram's awesome. Sober sex expert, um, DM me or, you know, start following me. And, uh, that's the best way. That's the best way to reach me right now. And, uh, yeah, I think it's, I'm just excited to be able to sit and have these conversations that I just have heard so much that it's so hard to be able to do. So um, I think just embracing that and being able to guide people through those, that sharing will be really important. Yeah. So yeah, find me awesome. a sober, sober sex expert and uh, yeah, we can go from there. Awesome. All right. Well, thank you. I'm really glad uh, we got this happening today. <laughs> Like I said, it was kind of a two-parter. I actually, um, I, I didn't keep the first uh, uh, live that I did. Um, I need, I, Susie told me to make sure I download this video, which I'm going to do afterwards. So I will just say, if anyone joined us late, we are talking about the She Recovers Redefining Recovery Retreats that are happening this March in Austin, Texas, outside of Austin, Texas, Marble Falls. And our first retreat is full, but our second retreat, which Cindy and I are going to be at, still has some space. So if you are thinking, hmm, a retreat sounds interesting, feel free to reach out uh, to She Recovers. You can go onto our website and find those retreats on our website. Uh, I believe it's under events and retreats. Um, you can connect uh, with She Recovers on Instagram. Um, we would love to have you. And um, what else do I want to say? Well, I think that's it. I mean, I talked a lot on the first one, but <laughs> yeah. I think, oh, there we go. Re <laughs> Recovering Dawn, thank you. Yes, I have, a, I have an email at sherecovers.org. It is Peyton.Kennedy at SheRecovers.org. So yes, absolutely. You can message me, send me an email, and I can give you all the details and answer any questions. Um, we are in that mode of starting to get ready for our retreats. So there's things coming out soon for those, uh, those people who uh, have registered already, like retreat guides with all the things that you need to know and all the things that you'll want to bring. And um, yeah, we're starting to count down the days. So once again, um, Thank you for joining, Cindy. It was great to talk to you. And thank you, everyone, for, for hanging out here and, and bearing with us through our technical issues. And um, yeah, I hope to maybe see some of you on retreat. Um, and if not, in the boxes somewhere in the She Recovers community, She Recovers Together Online. All right. Thanks again. Thank you. We'll, 
We'll see you soon. All right. Thank you. Bye, Peyton. Thank you. Bye. Thanks, Dawn, for being moderator. <laughs> Bye, everybody.